Credence of the Walking Dead. I know who you are. I got another good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. With or without you, I'm protecting my kid with my life. <laughs> And I don't give a shit about what happens to you, but if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. A uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. Last night, I heard your friend Doug laying in bed just naming types of pie. It was driving me nuts. I think he's starting to lose it. He's not the only one. Won't you cut him some slack? Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it, if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. He thinks I'm a danger to the group, and Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. The way Lily worries about his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. Yeah, I know. I'm just really frickin' hungry. Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? 
Get, get it off! Get it off! God damn it! Get, get it off me! Travis! Maybe they can help! These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that! What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? Who raided your camp? I, I don't know! Guys with guns! Please, we won't bother you, I swear! Lee, this is fucked up. We've gotta help. Please! Ben, shut up! My dad was special forces, I know what I'm doing! Just see if you can get him out! After that, you can leave us or whatever! I don't care! Please! We gotta get him out of there! Oh god, thank you! Fine, but you gotta hurry! Hurry, please, hurry! Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Shit! Walkers! It's now or never, Lee! Please! Get me out of this! Mark, get the boys back! Kenny, keep those walkers off of me! Try the trap again! Anything, please! Please! Get me out of this! Try to get the chain! Oh, no, no, no! Stop! <clears throat> Fuck! Let's go! Let's Hurry. go! Uh -huh. I'm sorry, there's no other choice. Lee, <gasps> <laughs> it has to be now! <laughs> <laughs> Just cut off his fucking leg! We don't have time for that. I'm sorry, but we have to go! Now! Ah. Ah. Oh God. Shit. Is he... He passed out. If he's alive, grab him and let's go! Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! No! The gate's open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, what the hell are that? these? Don't have time to explain. Please, Shit! Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat! Okay? Can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here! What are you thinking? Hey, you wanna calm down for a fucking hey, minute? We left the other one behind. Other one? Jesus, Lee! What if there are more of them? What if they followed you here? There wasn't anybody else! Just us! How do you know he's not lying? Come on, Lily, these are people! People trying to survive just like us! We've got to stick together to survive! The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no? Fine, you guys fight it out then. Welcome to the family, kid.
Come over here and see what I drew. But, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. It's what your husband wanted. <sighs> Figures. I love that man to death, but I swear sometimes he's dumber than a bag of hammers. Well... You've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Hey, Doug. <clears throat> ah. What's up, Lee? Don't suppose I could interest you in some food. Apple, Doug? Sure. I never used to eat fruit. Now this seems like just about the best thing in the world. Thanks, Lee. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we need to get some food? Hey, Duck. How about a little food? Here. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Want something to eat? If your camp got raided, probably means you haven't eaten in a while. I am really hungry. Thanks. Not such an easy job, is it?
I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before- Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Thanks, Kenny. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah? Well, I don't see you working on that wall. Hey, Doug. What are you working on, Doug? I've worked up a little warning system for outside. Yeah, it's just some string and some old bells. No, it's a lot of string, wired to several bells, strategically placed to let us know when the walkers are coming, where they're coming from, and how long till they get here. Nice. Think Katja can save that guy? Maybe. I mean, I know about computers, but that doesn't mean I can fix a calculator. But you probably could fix a calculator. Well, yeah. Good point. Take it easy, Doug. You too, Lee. I need space, Lee. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Kadja can save him. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Sorry, there's, there just wasn't enough food to go around. I understand. Gotta be hard to make those decisions. Just get me next time. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? That's not what I meant. No? Then what did you mean? All right, let's take a step back. Maybe you two should keep your distance. Fine with me. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... I'm sick of this shit, too. You don't think I am? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's for the best. We're already struggling to feed our own kids. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? I got him! Push it off! I don't want to hit you! <sighs> 
Thanks. No problem. We gotta watch each other's backs, right? Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know, I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God... Doug, it works! Of course it works. I told you. Shit, where'd this string come from? Watch where you're walking, man. Who are those people? I don't know. If they're friendly, we don't want to hurt them. They're not part of your group, are they? No. Mr. Parker, Travis, and I were the last... The last ones. There's just two of them. We need to make a stand. No. We have a routine. We don't confront them if we don't have to. You all right? Yeah, just getting untangled. I don't know how you're still alive, man. Sorry, Lily. We gotta do this. That's far enough! Oh, shit! Okay, okay. No problem. Are you armed? Yeah. For protection. The dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. What do you need gas for? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If, if y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out, see if it's legit? I'll go too. Improve the numbers in case we run into anything dead. So, uh... What are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Thanks for coming along, Doug. Sure. I'd like to get a look at that electric fence they talked about. It might give me some ideas for something I can rig up at the motor. Can an electric fence really stop walkers? Well, as long as the walkers aren't completely dehydrated and the fence has enough juice, yeah, it seems plausible. The electricity basically cooks you from the inside out, right? I guess so. So, if a walker stays in contact with the fence, it'll eventually cook its brain. Probably takes a while, though. And that can't be a good smell. Unless it smells like jerky. Man, I could go for some jerky. What's that you got there? Oh, nothing. It's just a laser pointer I picked up during our last trip to the drugstore. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Lily. She runs a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. Yeah, she knows her shit, but she needs to know when to back off sometimes. How many people you got over there anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well... You guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. 
In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. And are. you guys were keeping it all for yourself. What should we do? Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> You oh, shit! Asshole! The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. Oh, wow. You guys must know a thing or two about running wire. Had a guy who did, yeah. We've got kids in our group. Doesn't seem safe to have them near a lethal fence. Oh, don't worry about that. We got plenty to keep them entertained. Oh, wow. You've got enough electricity to run the whole place. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Kenny's working on getting us somewhere safer. He doesn't think the motor inn will stay safe forever. Sounds like a smart man. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh yeah, I, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're starved. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Holy moly! Sorry. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip back here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. No problem. Ben can come with me. Take this. All right. See you later. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? They're offering us food. We should do whatever we can to make these people like us. The way Brenda was talking, I get the feeling like she'd be happy to have us stay. All the more reason for us not to fuck this up. If Andy needs some help securing the perimeter, then that's what we do. 
Hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? Oh, uh, well, just curious, I guess. Let's not start thinking too far ahead now. Let's just focus on getting y'all a good home-cooked meal tonight. Well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. When was the last time it got any use? Mm, been quite a while. Uh, don't exactly have a lot of kids visiting anymore. I look forward to the day when kids can just be kids again. Amen to that. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. So what's your read on Andy so far? Think they'd be open to letting us stay? Getting the perimeter secured is gonna help us a lot. We'll be getting in good and making this place safer for us. I may have pushed too hard asking Brenda about her house. Damn it. I'm gonna get back to it. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Yeah. If anyone tries to fuck with us, they'll regret it. Well, protecting your people is important, but in my experience, having that many guns around is when people get dangerous. I'm gonna get to know the place for a minute. Okay, well, we gotta secure the perimeter, so don't take too long. Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? Just trying to find more ways to help out. Well, I appreciate that. Tell you what, we'll find you something to do over there after we get back from securing the perimeter. Sounds good. Definitely tell they built this thing themselves. Hi. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Do you 
You think we're doing enough to get the St. John's to like us? Well, we don't want to seem over-anxious. Showing them we can handle this fence is going to go a long way. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. We'll work it out somehow. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Looks like he's stuck. Disgusting. Come on, I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? A fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. Well, they seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. There's another one. I see it. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. We'll go ask for more to eat after this is done. Alright, I can suck it up. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Purely. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. <laughs> what the? Get to the gate! Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement! Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out. We had an agreement. Now you're... Give us the food. Don't think I can't see ya. Come on. If we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! Shit, that hurts. Now we're gonna take what's Get closer! I see him! Where's our food, you asshole? Ah, what happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. I'm gonna have to move it. You assholes deserve to die! You assholes! Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Behind the tractor! Shit! You ain't got money yet? I can do this all day! Let's 
get out of here. You lucky dumb the bitches! Go ahead and run! We ain't going nowhere! Lee, what's wrong? Uh, there was a goddamn ambush out there! Holy shit, are, are you okay? Bandits here? On our property? Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out. God damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it! Doug said this place was safe. It was just a fluke thing. You can't stop assuming there aren't bad people out there. What the hell do you mean a fluke? It could have happened anywhere. Could have happened to us in the motor inn. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Doug? Since Doug ate half the biscuits on the way to get us, I had them stay back. I still don't think we should be trying to stay here, and someone's got to watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope your kids like swings. A swing? I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So, are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah, we gotta work together on this. Those bandits are a danger to everybody. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Yeah. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. Here. Oh shit, you found it? 